10% across the board. Um, and those, that 10% for the price drop hasn't really been as a result of, of Brexit, which is something. Oh, another month has gone by. It is month three of Diary of a Player. I'm in my office, which I kind of want to make out as a bit like Casey Neistat's office. If you don't know who that is, type him into YouTube. He's an absolute vlogger to end all vloggers. He's got a warehouse with like 50 cameras, 50 drones, all these bits and pieces. He does all these tech reviews, which I really want to get into, um, except nobody will send me any technology to review. But I am an absolute technology nause. That's what I spend all my money on. I have got some bits and pieces in the background that are a bit like technology, sort of. I've got all my bits, cameras. I've got some books, which I have actually read. I know what you're thinking. Meathead, but does actually read a lot. And there's a couple of figurines as well. You can just see one of them that way, which is actually Owen Farrell figurine. But more on that later. Uh, this month has been crazy. We've obviously had Christmas. We've had me um, cooking a turkey on the barbecue for Christmas. Uh, Chloe wanted me to do a test run, which I'm going to show you all about how that went. She was really concerned that I was going to ruin the entire Christmas. So two weeks before she made me cook everything on a barbecue, I've been back in the Saints. We filmed another TV show, this time with Chloe and her father. Um, and all in all, it's been an action-packed month. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, please comment, please share, and I'll catch you all soon. And hopefully somebody will send me some technology so I can do a review because I absolutely love it. Listen to that is England and Northampton Saints flanker James Haskell. James, how are you? Very well, how are you? Yes, doing well, mate. So you played in Japan for six months for the retail of Black Rams. How did, how did you find it um, over there? Yeah, I mean, I loved it. Obviously, um, you know, culturally, it was just, it's such an amazing place. Uh, I found, you know, like a lot of people don't know about the rugby over here. It's, you know, we don't have a lot of their games televised, but I, you know, I found it to be kind of the, the second most popular sport over in, in Japan. They were massive on baseball and kind of golf, but, but rugby was huge, especially in the universities. You know, they were getting probably 60,000 people to watch their university games. And when it came towards the top league, that number sort of dropped off slightly um, but it was uh, it, it was amazing you know how well drilled the players were um, you know what incredible kind of tacklers they were as well um, you know obviously the game wasn't as physical as it is in the premiership um, but every team kind of has five or six kind of superstars um, you know in, in their ranks so yeah it was uh, it was amazing uh, I had a few sort of interesting experiences over there but it was incredible So very excited. Today is a very, very big day. I'm headed down to Edit Suits uh, in London and they are gonna produce my wedding suit for me. Now, I know nothing about me getting married, obviously. Um, so they're gonna take me through the whole process. We're gonna go through all the different kind of swatches, look at the different materials, what I'm gonna want. I think I'm gonna go, uh, I was gonna go double-breasted, but actually I'm gonna go three pieces, my, because that's my favorite. And I look forward to going through the process and seeing what's happened. I've actually brought Chloe down with me just to make sure that I don't go off piste and put any kind of skulls or, or go in bright pink. Um, but watch this space. So we're just in a London town adventure with the sidekick. Uh, I've been doing wedding suit fittings. What do we you reckon? Loved it. I, I did loved love it. it. I learned so much about buttons and lining. And I had different collar styles and finishes. A lot of stuff I want to go with had skulls in it, but I was told niche niche not for our wedding um and now we're off to dinner at a new restaurant what's it called uh la chapelle you're always foofing your hair on the camera i know it's a really good mirror. it's not a really good mirror you're supposed to be doing oh, content look at it. Look like you're supposed to be looking. making content well look we're going to off to a new restaurant to test it out it's a mission star restaurant um we've had a hell of a trip up to london oh god you're so annoying <laughs> one of the most ridiculous case of bears i've ever seen what is wrong with you lot? What is wrong with you and scrums? Scrums are not worth any of this. Look at it, look at it. Look what have you made? This is the kind of thing that Fritzl had in his dungeon. Under our rugby line. It is Fritzl. Mate, fuck off. Alright, alright, I'm finished. Forget about me, I don't care about scrums. Right, that is a prime example of why we should just get rid of scrubs in the game. Stuff like that, it is ridiculous. So one of the key things you've got to do when you're injured, especially when you've had uh, an operation, is to ice the area. Uh, you can probably see that my 
side of my foot is still a bit black, um, which is where the surgeon's gone in. I've still got the stitches in. It's still kind of massively, massively bruised. So I'm just taking the opportunity to ice it. I've got a badass icing machine called a Game Ready, which kind of compresses and ices at the same time. It costs a fortune, uh, sadly, and there's no freebies. I'm not being paid to endorse it. It is unbelievable, but it is very expensive. So, and I had to pay full price. The bastards wouldn't do anything for me. Uh, but you know, that's <laughs> that's life. Um, so I'm on icing kind of rotations, probably uh, 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off throughout the day. You can kind of set a program. Um, and that's what I'm doing at the moment, really. So bedtime has once again come to the Haskell house, my wife-to-be. This is the Sunday evening before the week before we get married. I never thought I was get, ever going to get married, but when you're on to a winner, you've got to lock it down, haven't you? Words of Beyonce, got to put a ring on it. So we're just having a crazy Sunday night. She's about to go to bed. I'm, uh, I'm reading. She's... Fault. Releasing gaseous smells. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's absolutely not. You big hairy daggy bum. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you are? You're a chuff beat and a win it. That's what you are. So this is as exciting as it gets. She's just been watching um, Diary of a Player from last month. What do you think? I think when I drive, you put the camera too close to my face. Why? Well, I'm watching all that. Why, why, why is that issue? I look a bit weird. My features look a bit out of proportion and weird. But your features are out of proportion and weird. That's not true. It is. There's children come running up to their house and <laughs> they like they walk past. They go, "Don't go to that house." There's that real nice guy and that weird woman with big features. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. They go. Do you know what? I hear. I hear mothers around this area saying, "Don't pull that face, otherwise it will change. You'll be stuck like Chloe Madeley of number number seventy five. <laughs> Our bottle right, avenue. Come on, psychos, try and find us, motherfuckers. I saw a little car today on the M1. Mm -hmm. There was all kind. It was like all kinds of petrol, like colour shimmer. It, it looked like a fly on wheels. It wasn't like the shimmery colour. No, it was like all kinds of different colours. Yeah, so like when you put petrol on top of a puddle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shimmery car effect. It was probably a... It was ugly and I didn't like it. Yeah, it sounds absolute crapola. Can I just say, I've got one bone of contention. Can people with really, 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 really shit cars, shit cars stop putting massive exhausts on them and things on them? It, you're basically putting... It's like putting French windows on a council house. It's still a shit house. Like, what you know, there's no there's no way around it. It's like, it's like basically putting a, 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 a cocktail umbrella in a turd and going, <laughs> and going, there you have it. It just made a lot of noise. Like, what you'd be better off is saving that money that you spent on all the shit additions to the car, and then maybe try to get something better. You, um... Can you stop touching, stroking me, please? I'm the cocktail umbrella in your third life. <laughs> on that note, we'll all be seeing you. Be seeing you. So one of the things I'm interested in outside of rugby uh, and amongst all the stupid little things that I've shown you I've done with its digger driving or DJing or writing or whatever it might be is I'm mad into my coffee. And one of the benefits of being on social media is people send me coffee to try. I've got a naughty little coffee set up which I will show you in a second. Um, but one of these companies has sent me some stuff today and they've got an awesome little selection. Uh, the River Coffee Roasters, uh, and there's some incredible bits and pieces, and I find it really relaxing. I think I'm 100% addicted to coffee, like I may have a problem, but I only confine myself to three coffees per day, which I think is, is kind of okay, and I don't really take any caffeine supplements on top of that. If you are into your training, or if you're into your CrossFit, everybody loves coffee, everybody drinks bulletproof coffee. I haven't really gone on to that. I'm much more into flavor. Uh, I do a lot of nausing, so I time, how long it drips through, obviously the grind size, all those other bits and pieces that go into making the coffee. Um, but it's a good hobby and it's enjoyable and it tastes nice. So if any of you want to send me some of your coffees to try, I will give you a nice little breakdown. I have yet to try these bad boys, but I'll let you know how I get on.
We have one Americano for Miss Maidley, soon to be Mrs. Haskell. <gasps> You're welcome. <laughs> for which bit? Well, for both of them. I kind of half that I might have. Sounds a bit wonky, you know what I'm saying? Very wonky. Listen, I'm filming. Just yeah. shut your mouth, please. You live in the real world, you little shit. This is the kind of nonsense I have to put up with. Um, so there we have it. The very first uh, flat white from the River Coffee Roasters. And I went with, what I went with? I went with the, the Colombian and Brazil Flow. A blend of what? Mm, yes. A blend of something, something, something. Uh, washed and pulped natural coffee from, I can't read it, and um, it's supposed to have chocolate, hazelnut and butterscotch notes, so I'll be the judge of that. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes. What do you think? I think it is nice. I think maybe. No, it's really nice, but it doesn't. Mm. The one we had this morning tasted. Do you know what? I think I do get a bit of butterscotch in there. Why did you say you couldn't pronounce this? Because it's antiqua, antiqua, and mask something. Minas. Minas. But it's nice. I like it. So there you have it. That's the first one uh, from the River Cafe. I like it. Chloe, she likes it, but it's not the River Cafe. Not the River Cafe. The River Coffee Roasters. But Chloe's thinking doesn't have a chocolate flavour. I apologise for Ruthie Rogers. Who the fuck is Ru <laughs> Who's yeah. Ruthie Rogers? Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but it was nice. I like it then. I'm also starting a protein shake on the side because I'm absolute rig city 24 hours a day. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Butterscotchy goodness, yeah. So it's. I don't know, quarter to seven in the morning. And um, we're going to do my very first. Bit of conditioning post operation. Uh, I'm gonna do it at home. I'm gonna use the Versa Climber, which is a great bit of kit. Um, I can actually do it seated. They've got a seated attachment, so I'm interested to see how this goes. This is the first time in about four years I've gone kind of two and a half weeks without ever doing anything. So, will I be in a hole? Will I be sick of myself? Or will I be okay? I'm, I'm excited to see. So as I've mentioned, I'm going to be cooking uh, a turkey on the barbecue for Christmas. Very excited about this. Chloe is not so excited. She's a little bit concerned that I'm going to balls the whole thing up. But I've taken a recipe from one of my teammates, Jamie Gibson, who is an absolute barbecue nose beyond, beyond belief. Um, and he's kind of told me to put it in a salt brine and for me to um, cook it in a certain way. So I'm very excited to try it and see how it goes. Sorry, say that again. I said I'm not not excited about the turkey. I'm nervous about the timing. Right, okay. Right. I know what you're thinking, right? It's not the weather. Yes, please. It's not the weather for barbecuing, but we're going to do a Christmas turkey on the Traeger. And we're going to get it prepped and ready and we'll do a trial run because Chloe is freaking out that I'm gonna fuck it up. So here we have the brining turkey, which actually looks delightful. Um, we've got onions in there, garlic, salt, and sugar. It's been in there for kind of 
almost 48 hours and I'm very excited to get it out and to cook it up. How am I going to do this without boiling it all up? You can stuff it with onions if you want, or lemon, yeah, lemons, he said, actually. They all say lemons, I don't like it. All right. It makes it taste quite, what's the word? Uh, what's the word? Like, a disinfectant tea. Oh, really? But it depends what you like. Like Jif lemon? Yeah. We can do it if you want, and you can see if you like no. it. No, right. Right. But we should stuff it, and if we stuff <laughs> it... Stuff you later. You can't go wrong with a bit of hygiene, can you? Hold on, flower, put the gloves on. Oh, what's that? I don't want to guess. You didn't take that all. Well, I took all the stuff in the bag. It's fine. Is that a bird dick? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? It might be. Probably. I mean, I can't imagine what else is, to be fair. At temperature, it's 222, 223. It gets 230. It's bird time. Do, 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 bird time. Right, please maybe open the back door for me. Dum da da dum. Mm hmm. Dum da da dum. Flower, that's not how the boxes go on the. On the... No, I know, but we're just leaving it for now. <laughs> Are we, right? Just give it, just help you correct you as you. Well, we've basically done the same turkey I would do with one half paprika and having brined it for 48 hours. I just don't think the brining was necessary. All right, well, I liked doing it, so. 2.35, right, we're in. Get in there, you bastard. <whistles> Looking good, Mr. Turkey. It's done, what and it looks it? amazing. What's it in at? Uh, it is in at two hours, 37 minutes. So that's amazing. And it's um, pink, it's pink because it's got the... Uh, One hour, two hours, two and a half hours. It's pink because of the cherry smoke as well. Yeah, it's really... that's exactly half an hour per cubic. Fine. Yeah, show me, I don't know. How do you know how to cut off? Did your parents never teach you how to do this? Dad used to, always, Dad used to always do it. And he never showed you? No. Well, I kind of must Which have watched. Which one do you want to try? Do you want to try this one or this one? Well, we'll try this one first, the traditional one. So you start at the spine, and then you try and do like long, long thin slices. That's quite good. It's kind of a pink hue because of the cherry wood. Yeah, I remember him saying, and a circle, didn't he say? Oh, yeah. And then as you get deeper, obviously. 
Oh my god. Try that, just rip that piece of skin off and eat it, please. Mmm, so much salt and butter. So, um, but it tastes on, like, in terms of the flavour, oh my god. So, the great turkey Traeger brining debacle that actually turned out to be unbelievable went without a hitch. Uh, Chloe really enjoyed it. She really didn't want me to brine it and didn't believe in it. She's a bit of a convert now, um, which is good. We only had a couple of minor rows, minor rows, but it all worked out in the end and it was incredible. So I recommend doing it. I recommend trying it. And actually, since we did the trial run, we had Christmas Day together and there was a minor issue with some timing and a little bit of technology let down, but actually it went pretty smoothly. The only thing that kind of got balls up a little bit were the pigs in blankets, which she hasn't let me forget. Talking about doing stuff on a Saturday neat. I've now spent the whole night talking to one of my teammates uh, about putting together 12 days of Christmas in a comedy way. Um, and I can't say a lot of the lyrics because they're rude, <laughs> but hopefully it's gonna go down well. We've got many teams within, uh, within the club and we have to do a performance uh, for all the lads on Monday morning. And my group has done absolutely fuck all, apart from uh, Jamal um, and I'm helping him Put the, put the song together and it's actually quite good fun. I really shouldn't be singing 12 Days of Christmas on my own in my house, uh, laughing at my own jokes. So for those of you who always take the piss out of my hair for me now, I'm actually seeing the, the lid doctor, Alex from Jack the Clipper, who's been cutting my hair for the last five years. He's an absolute magician. He can't put more hair in, but he can make what's left look really good. So I've tightened up the beard, having the, uh, the sort of my uh, lid sharpened up for the wedding. I've gone a little bit shorter this time it's going to be five days uh, hopefully my mum won't scream but she'll be happy that the beard's trimmed so um, getting all, all sorts of uh, things taken care of I recommend Jack the Clipper and if you can book him with the big man Alex but he's, uh, he's very famous and very exclusive so he's hard to track down it's the day after my wedding uh, I'm officially married uh, I've now got a wife which is incredible um, I've got a Christmas tree. I feel like I'm the queen giving the queen speech. This year we will love each other more and cherish each other and don't kill the corgis. Um, but it's been incredible. The Space Invaders around. We've actually gone for a full log fire in the in the room set up. Um, I've, I've booked in an event that I've got to do this evening. So you imagine how well that's gone down. Um, almost as well as I go down. Uh, so yeah, we're just having a very much relaxed day, chilling out. Uh, we're actually going to do a little bit of training today, a bit of fun, because we were at a load of cake from, we bought cake from the Hummingburg Bakery and it was a red velvet cake and it was incredible and I had about five pieces of it, as well as all the alcohol and the bits and pieces. So we're, uh, I've got to stop saying bits and pieces. A few of you have commented on the comment section that I continue to say bits and pieces, but it's my expression and I can't help it. Chloe's single-handedly truffling into everything. No, I'm looking at what we've got. No, you're... We have you're... cake, we have gingerbread men. Look at you. We have chocolate. Look at you. Stop truffling everything. Look at this. What? This a chocolate caramel heart. That is actually my, that's my actual this, heart. This is actual edible No, that's my, actual, that's my actual heart. Let's they eat found, it. They found it. No, let's just leave it for a minute. Let's eat it. No, no, I think we should probably leave it for a minute. How nice is the fire? Look. Look at the cinematography here. Look at this. Just full fire. Oh! Cozy. Um, hold on, let me just adjust this camera. So there you have it. We are a married couple. This is Mrs. Hask. Um, Can you tell how completely hungover I am? Mrs. Hask or just Hask. That's what we're going with. So yeah, it's been ultimately quite an amazing end to a year. This will be kind of the Christmas version, I think. Or which, whichever blog is going to come out. And as I've always said to you, you're a little bit behind real world events as I'm not a I'm not a Casey Neistat who blogs every single day. I who? wish I was. One of the biggest YouTubers flair. Christmas blog. Clog. <laughs> That's what I have to put up with. That's what I've married into. Um, Clogs. Right. I'm gonna do some work emails now. I think we should eat the heart. The caramel heart. No. Stop wow. looking at it. Just leave it. 
She said it's filled with caramel. Why are you unable to um, just let chocolate be in the room with you without having to eat it? Who who can do that? I think it's quite flattering then, isn't it? Quite a flattering angle for you. No, I'm really unphotogenic though. You look really good on camera. You look better on camera than in real life. And I think I look better in real life than on camera. At least I hope I do. That's well, what I tell note, myself. On that note, we'll leave it. Right, go and put a log on the fire. Go poo on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Have you noticed that loads of um, air conditioning units in Mitsubishi? Yeah. Is that weird? Show us your kicks again. Oh, good kicks. We're going on a lovely romantic walk this morning, aren't we? Yes. Marriage, day three. Love making, lots. Cuddles, lots. Arguments, one. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a bad. Not a bad start to it was a big plan. one though. It was a big one. Maybe our biggest. Maybe our biggest. But then dad said it was normal and if dad said it's normal then it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you told my dad. But you have to just get clearance, don't you? Clearance from the old man. Any business you'd like to talk about on our walk? What beautiful scenery we have? Do you think when we're older we'll be that older couple that drinks gin and plays tennis? No. AKA Rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll be an older couple that... <sighs> what will we do? Um, Hopefully travel to the world. Yeah. I think we'll be an older couple that will probably go shooting. Oh no. What? That sounds cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll sit inside log fires and relax. You know? Yeah, that sounds sedentary. <laughs> I don't want to be cold or sedentary, we've got to find a way to be active Why don't we play bowls? Bulls. Bulls. I think it's bulls. <laughs> Alright, bulls. Fine. 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 Alright, well we'll come back with more, more plans later on. You're a mad woman. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. I want to look at these two geese having an absolute scrap. You have to always walk back and be the odd couple who have to walk back in spa gears. Don't you? Do you have a nice time? Yeah. We did a training session, sparred it up, <coughs> steamed it, and now we're back for an afternoon tea. Why? Because we're a fat disgrace. Mainly after you get married, you don't find yourself doing a TV show a couple of days afterwards. Um, obviously, it went down really well that I decided to do this, but we're actually a team, Chloe and myself and her father, Richard, which I'm very excited about. I can't remember what the name of the show is we're doing. <laughs> I've got to start paying more attention. But I'm in another day, another dressing room i've kind of taken you through it but i want to show you exactly what uh snacks and food i've been given this time because it's very similar fruit obviously there's my uh, wedding ring and some healthy snacks probably could get away with that maybe the popcorn but that's it obviously some flowers another mirror that i don't think will light up and yes my trousers are undone because i'm getting dressed and this is chloe's dressing room I did actually have one myself, but I've decided to get into here with her um, as we're now married and we should uh, do everything as a couple. So I'm very excited to see how we go. It's all about doing little games, not marriage, this TV program um, with skill and stuff. So I'm very excited to see how we go. Hopefully we won't end up having a divorce afterwards and I won't fall out with, with Richard. So it's proved that I did get my own dressing room. <laughs> and married life hasn't meant that I'm now on my Todd. I've got welcome James sign, so in your face, obligatory TV, more snacks, and uh, obviously full length mirror, and look, absolute name tag.com. Do my lights work? Yes, they do. Look, in case I forget my name, James. So there you have it, another show, another showbiz day. Throwback. Oh my God, throwback, that was all I wore when I was 16. Do you know what? Do you know what? When I, um, I was thinking, I couldn't stop moving on. Let's go back. How excited are you, Claire? About what? I'm all about the game show. Yeah, I've told everyone already on so my little... so much happening. I've told them already on my little video that uh, this is my idea for two days post-wedding. Oh, this is one of many jobs that James has got me working on our <laughs> very tiny mini-moon period. But it's fine. I mean, weddings are fucking expensive, so... And it's gone down well, though, hasn't it? Like, it's it got to work. It seemed like a good idea. <laughs> What do you mean? For me selling you this as, as an idea two days after the wedding. Well, I like this bit. I'm getting pretty pampered over here. Oh, right, so you're enjoying that? Yeah, man, relax. 
I'm enjoying listening to her, but you get so excited about lip gloss and stuff. I've never been that excited about anything in my life. <laughs> you don't understand, like, do you remember, do you remember Umbongo back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's like someone handing you an Umbongo now. Is it's it Umbongo girl, or Umbongo? Bongo. Umbongo. Umbongo, Bongo. was it? They drank it in the Congo, the rhino took an apricot, a uh, lemon and a mango. Umbongo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. You're not in the back, you obviously know it. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at you thinking, how come you remember that? No, I'm, I'm we're old and everything. You should be young. I know, I'm not. Sadly, we're not. <laughs> I'm old as hell. I think you've done my makeup really well. I think I've you've kind of made me look a bit more youthful. And you did my beard very well. I'm feeling quite... I feel like I'm all right. I'm a bit concerned about these games. Actually, can you see the back of my head? If you could just got any more hair that you could spray into the back of that head. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, I don't. We can. Do you actually? We can. Do you actually have a? Do you actually have that? Do, do you have some like spray on hair? Yeah. Do it. I need to no, see don't. it in real life. Right. Don't post do post the show. We've definitely got to spray some in my hair just to see what it looks like. That would go down so well. It's going on YouTube, and I would be very excited about that. Could be the answer to my problems. <laughs> What a very, very special day it is in the Haskell household. And yes, it is the Haskell household now. Chloe has decided to take my name and she will do as she is told. My book's out. Cooking for Fitness is here. It is my third book after Perfect Fit. I'm so excited. It is full of recipes and nutrition advice. No doubt you'll still be smashing the bad food, which is great. But at some point you're gonna feel sick and wanna get in shape. Also, my wife, who is buggering around in the background, has got a big announcement today as well. Tell everyone. My book, The Fat Loss Blitz, is out today. Although, I feel like it was kind of floating around in shops and stuff for the last few days and it's kind of been a bit like ruined now, but technically, officially, it's out today. So if you want recipes and you want to get in shape, then please, please, please head over to Amazon and grab our books today. We love you. So it is 2019 and incredibly, uh, we're married. Yay! We're still together, and whatever's gone before in, in this uh, dire of a player, I've told you all that things are out of time and out of sync just because. Oh, back row, the club don't like to talk about anymore. Um, it's all out of sync, so things have been happening. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit behind with these videos just because I can't edit them um, as I'm going along because it takes up too much time, and I'm trying to be a rugby player first and foremost. However, happy new year! It is 2019. I hope all of you have an incredible time. And as always, if you like this video and you like my channel, then please share some love, subscribe, pass it on to your friends. And if you don't, then 